Stealth, speed, and surprise. What's up guys, Magic Maps here and today I'm bringing to you some Black Ops 3 knife only hater uh, gameplay in Search and Destroy. I actually get a hater in this um, Search and Destroy gameplay. The first time I've ever gotten a hater or an orbital VSAT if you will in, uh, well I mean this is the first time ever I've gotten a hater in Search and Destroy. Um, I never got an orbital VSAT knife only search and destroy gameplay in black ops 2, black ops 2 i came close but uh, uh couldn't quite get it. and this is what i hate i'm i'm the last person standing and a dude a friend of mine uh invites me to a party chat and he blocks my mini map screen which kind of screws me over at this point because i'm the last guy and that that the, the guy that killed me was the last guy if i if that didn't distract me i would have gotten that dude so i mean Look, if you want to party chat with me, do it when you're actually in the lobby, not with me, not during the middle of the game. And so that kind of, that was the only like, bad thing that kind of happened in this game. Uh, so, and in fact, the dude actually joins into my, my, my game later on, on the enemy team though. So I do actually knife him at one point. But aside from all, aside from all of that, I promise you that I will not die from the ref for the rest of this game. The rest of this game is pretty beast. I, you know, I just was on point for everything in terms of my positioning, my my movement, and it just went went perfectly. Anyways, aside from the gameplay itself, I'd like to give you a few updates on what's been happening as well lately. I just got back from from Spain. Uh, for the holidays I went for the holidays to Spain to uh, visit some relatives you know um, that I have not seen since I was like two months old so I don't even remember that period so uh, but yeah I got to see some of the relatives and uh, got to do a bit of sightseeing and visit some uh, like some museums like art and history museums those are pretty cool uh, but aside from that also we we came back around uh, on the on December thirtieth, so one day before uh, New Year's New Year's Eve, and I wanted to plan something for New Year's Eve, but uh, it was everything. Everyone was already kind of busy. Already had plans because I mean I was away the whole I was away during the whole, during the whole holiday, so I couldn't really like plan much with them, and uh, not only that though, it's the whole trip like me and my family were kind of you know not a hundred percent like well like even right now i'm a little bit i don't want to say i'm not really sick maybe just a little let's just put it that way and uh we got back and you know it's it's a six hour difference between here in toronto and and uh in spain spain is six hours ahead of toronto so when we got back uh i a lot of uh, we were all pretty like we we had a, quite the jet jet lag, so uh, I, as much as I wanted to plan something fun for New Year's Eve with my friends, I was I was not feeling well at all. I was tired and kind of sick, so I had no energy whatsoever really to do, do anything in the first place. So I just decided whatever, I'll just sleep through the through the New Year's Eve countdown. So I did. And I slept for a good 14 hours straight, and man, did it feel so good. I do not get to do that too often, and I'm not even a morning person, so I, I just slept through it, and on the, the morning of Janu on, on New Year's Day, I, I felt much, so much better. I'm like, ah, you know what? It was kind of nice to not have to, not really being concerned about staying up until midnight for the countdown, you know? Because, I mean, you do it you do it every year, so and after a while, it kind of gets... Sometimes it gets a bit repetitive, and, I mean, it is an opportunity for people to, you know, just go out and celebrate, have fun, but for me this year, I, I, I don't even get to do that 
do it that often anyway so I was just like whatever just sleep through it <laughs> and uh, I feel I feel much better now because of that and uh, but other than that uh, hopefully I, I got a few more I got a few more gameplays and uh, videos planned up for you in the near future. Hopefully uh, another uh, Black Ops 3 montage coming your way pretty soon. Also Call of Duty Mind Freak uh, episode number 22 in the works. But uh, like I said in previous videos, I try to balance between my two channels, uh, my Magic channel and my Call of Duty Knifing channel. So if you want more content, always feel free to drop by the other my other channel as well and I'm trying to get this last guy for 14 kills but my other teammates get there before me and I already had my hater up at that point and first time I got the hater in search and destroy but and you can see him here I just I'm just going all out I don't even care if I died at that point because I lunged I had the lunge right on him but you know he was already dead by then so whatever still really beast gameplay um, my first um, search and destroy gameplay on Black Ops 3 uh, I went 13 and 1. Hope you enjoyed. Happy New Year, guys. Hope you had a good, good holidays. And I hope to see you guys in my future videos. Peace.